Leia. <laughs> Not interested. Hi, welcome to The Crafty Tinkerer. I'm Nicole, and this week I am going to be talking about socks. I have been on a little bit of a sock adventure. I bought the Fish Lips Kiss Heel pattern um, since my afterthought heel socks didn't work out quite as planned. They, they were a little bit too short. I combined that with the Rose City Rollers um, sock pattern, which is available for free on Ravelry. The top of the Rose City Rollers sock rolls down. I wanted to have a cuff on mine, so I did do two by two ribbing. Um, and I used a combination of uh, Malabrigo sock yarn and the sock yarn from Gamer Crafting Yarns. And the, the Malabrigo sock yarn is Anniversario. And then I don't actually know what any of the colorway names are for the Gamer Crafting yarn, but this was the one that came in day eight of the advent calendar. And instead of cutting and weaving in a bunch of ends, what I did was I carried both yarns up through each stripe, um, but I didn't catch it very often. And it was like when I would remember to catch it, I would catch it. So there are quite a bit of long floating yarn pieces on the inside of this sock. I think I did 10, 10 rows of two by two ribbing also before I started knitting down. And I got carried away and made this sock a lot longer than I had intended. Actually, this is the second one I did. This is the first one. <laughs> and so I did make the second one a bit shorter than the first one. There we go. But I wasn't thinking about the floats on the inside, as you can see, for either one of these socks. I was mostly focused on the heel. So, I did finish it. I do wear them. As you can tell, these socks have been worn. They have some pilling at the bottom. I do not have sock blockers. So I did not even weave in the ends of the first sock yet, but they have been getting used. So I took what I learned with the first sock. Also, I cast on like 60 odd stitches and that was way too big. Um, it's like hanging around my ankle. So with the second sock, what I did was I reduced the amount of stitches I cast on by six. Yeah, six. And also for the pink sock and the purple sock, I cast on the ribbing using size US2 needles, and then I switched to size three needles um, for the rest of the sock. And I used double pointed needles. And I did see, I can see some laddering in this. Uh, I still have not managed to figure out how to make it so that I don't get laddering in my socks or mittens when I use double pointed needles. But with this one, I did catch the yarn a bit more frequently on the inside. And for this second purple sock, um, I used another Malabrigo sock yarn. When I was looking at their colorways on the internet, 
it could possibly be Arco Iris, but like I said, I don't have the tag anymore, so I can't tell you for sure. But it did come out pretty. And then the darker purples, um, sometimes they blended together, like you, you know, in that part, so that the stripes aren't quite as definitive as they were with the pink sock. But um, the, the dark purple that I used for the toe here is day six from the Gamer Crafting Advent Calendar. And then I have this one. I'm calling it the, my yellow sock, <laughs> but it is bright. Um, and I think this color came from day 11. Pretty sure it was day 11 on the Gamer Crafting Advent. And then I used the Arco Iris, what I think is Arco Iris again. And for this sock, I cast on 50 odd stitches and I did about eight rows of um, ribbing and I made this part a little bit longer than I did in the other socks but I never switched to a US 3 needle on these and they fit a lot better than both of the other pairs of socks do. So I think from now on, the way that I did this sock is the way I'll go forward with my socks. I also caught the yarn that I was carrying every other row. Um, and I think it looks a lot better that way. And also for this one, I used the contrast color for the heel as well. Now, the first sock I did um, the pink one, I used 31 grams of the Malabrigo and I used 19 grams of the Gamer Crafting. I haven't weighed out the yarn for either one of these, but I will do that soon and put them on my Ravelry Projects pages for these socks. Um, and the only other difference with this third sock is that instead of decreasing every other row, I decreased every row. I was kind of thinking it would give me a more rounded toe, um, and I guess it did, but it fits. It fits really well to my foot, and I wear a size nine, nine and a half shoe. So I am currently working on its mate. Now, I have said previously, yeah, here's, here is what I think is the Arco Iris yarn from Malabrigo. And then I have little, these are my little size two um, sock needles. They're chow goo needles. And this is what I usually start my mittens on as well. But I can't, use these for the decreases. I still need double pointed needles for the decreases in the toe. So, um, yeah. So here are these two yarns. And it really, <laughs> it's been interesting to see, you know, how different the socks look just with different color pairings. You know, I was talking to a friend last weekend. I went to her house and she hadn't used double pointed needles before. So I just, you know, helped her figure out how you hold them and figure out what you're doing. And she knit a sock last, at the beginning of the week. But I was saying, you know, why do we always have to have matching socks? Like I wear mismatched socks. As a matter of fact, the first pair of socks, the afterthought heel socks that I made, I switched up the heel and the toe and the body colors so that they're intentionally mismatched. And I kind of like doing that. So I might do that for my next pair. I would love to just knit a bunch of singleton socks and then pull out two from the sock drawer every day, you know? But uh, no one's really gonna see, like no one sees them. And what is wrong with wearing mismatched socks? I don't know. Really, that is all I wanted to say about my socks. Um, 
It's been interesting, you know, trying to figure out how many stitches work for my foot, but that is the greatest part about making your own. You know, with sewing, I found the same thing. You can make it to fit you how you need it to fit. And um, yeah, I really am loving having all this color too. Uh, normally, I would not buy bright colors like this, but I, I think they're great. So thanks again, Angie, and thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please click this button down here and then press the bell to get notifications when I upload a new video. Have a great day.